first I gotta transfer some numbers here. I'll put one and one half inch here. Remember we measured these out. And this is two inches thick. Thick. This is two and three quarter thick. And this is two and three quarter thick. Okay, well, now we're going to cut this out and then we'll put it on some foam here and, and show you what I'm going to do here. This is. We're just cutting this cardboard template out that we made. Remember that? We traced around the fish this way. Okay, and then we also, I'm going to write on here 18 millimeter eye. I got that here, and we're going to get rid of that piece of cardboard. So, anyway, we're, we're just cutting this out. So this is kind of a just a, a rough idea. Okay. Now I'm gonna leave the bottom jaw just a little bit longer here because I want it to. I want to be able to, sting, you'll be able to distinguish top from bottom. Some people might not be able to, so. But anyway, this is what we're going to do, okay? We're just going to trace around here. Just any, anything just to get her started. Now, you can use a saw, or you can use whatever you want to cut this out. Keyhole saw works pretty good. Anyway, you can see I've got my, we got the outline of the fish here. We're gonna go ahead and uh, I got a, I got a nice knife here. We're gonna go ahead and uh, start cutting this out. out. Now this kind of foam here, you gotta be just a little bit more careful with it. it it's uh, a little bit more fragile. I use it, but what the heck? It's uh, I'm gonna just start getting it whittled down to where I want it. Okay, I've got it the right length now. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of follow the lines around and get this thing whittled out of here. You can use a saw if you want, or whatever. You can use a denser foam, you can buy the foam. I've used this foam once in a while. I got some extra foam around, so I use it. It doesn't hurt me at all. You just gotta be a little bit more careful with it. You can buy the blue foam, but it's pretty expensive, so anyway. Cut it in an angle. Well, stay pretty close to your line. You can always come back. Okay. Now we got that. We're going to go work from the top here. I'm just going ahead and getting a little bit of that off of there. Just keep working at it. Whittle her down. Bandsaw works real nice, big bandsaw. My bandsaw through the through the blade, so I don't have it. Now you can buy this fish if you want. But I think it's important to learn how to at least make one. Even though I'm following my line. You might not be able to see that line, but I'm following the line right there. Okay? We won't cut this out until we get the fish done. But you can see we've got the line pretty much followed here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and start getting it down to size here. All the way around. 
You can see it doesn't take a whole lot of time to make one of these. You know, I mean, we're going right along. It's not too bad. We've got some good measurements here, so we'll be able to get this thing made up good. thing about this this stuff here static electricity it sticks right to you but oh well, that's the price you pay for some things I guess. Okay. Now got a little bit here to take off. Okay. So we got here now we've got this kind of a basic shape of our fish I guess coming into play here. We're gonna I'll show you here in a second what we got. See how we're, we're getting that fish right pretty much down to where we want to be. Still got some more to do here. What we're going to do is we're going to start making our bend here to it. And I'm going to take a little bit out at a time here. I'm going to start going like this. Take more in the middle. That's the basic shape. That's all. That's the main part. Now what we're doing is we're just gonna we're going for the other shape. Now if you don't have a bandsaw, this is what you got to do. I want to get a little bend in this. You see what I'm doing? I'm scooping out deeper in the middle than I am on the ends. You see how I'm doing that? See how I'm finally get, I'm getting that bend there in it? Okay. We aren't going to take any more off the top and bottom here and here. Because we're trying to get this bend going. There's not going to be a big bend. It's just going to be a slight bend. But it's going to be something. This is just to show you. Here's what you can do here. Okay. Let me get rid of some of this stuff here. Now you can see... that we've got a good bend in here working. I'm going to take my surf form like this. Okay. Looks good. This is where we were carving. I left the flat side over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get this here pretty close to where I want it. I'm going to start getting it roughed out. Put round edges on her. Stuff like that. Be a little bit careful here. This stuff is fragile. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm making this a lot. See, see the difference in that? I'm, I'm rounding this down here. And you'll see here that we're going to get our fish here. We're going to go, we're going to start getting the basic shape of our fish, see? Okay. We just keep going like this. We can take a little bit. We're rounding that baby down here now. you want to do is you want to keep checking your fish. You want to keep checking this. We'll get the final detail work into it after we get her down to where we want her. We'll get, you see how that's coming along?
Okay. We're, we're, we're getting the top about the same basic shape. Okay. Now we're going to start working on this bottom here. And I'm going to I'm going to just take a little bit off with the knife here. There we go. We're, we're doing really well on this fish. I mean, we haven't been working at it 10 minutes. We almost got a horn knocked out. But anyway, what we're doing now is we're just getting this basic shape. Okay? We'll get the front side done. Get it fairly smooth. Now I'm going to take some off the back here. We're going to start working on the back. Getting this back thinned down. Remember we want to, we know what we got to have for a, for form size, because we got it written down on here. Okay. But what we're doing now is we're just kind of we're just kind of getting this thing thinned down some more. Getting her down to the basic shape. We got the front smooth. Oh, there's going to be people that'll say, oh, you can't use this foam. Yeah, you can. The other stuff, I'll tell you what, the other stuff is so expensive that I just have a hard time buying it. If I'm going to spend that much money, I'm just going to buy one that's already made. You know, 50 bucks for a block of foam? I'm sorry, but I can't afford it. I'm just a small one-man shop. Okay. I'm taking a look at it. I'm taking the overall look at it now. We'll put our fish on here. We're getting our overall look. We're pretty good top to bottom here. What we're doing is we're going to start thinning her down more now. And you can do this with a knife or keep working on it with your surf form or a, or a rasp. File, a heavy duty file, rasp. Doesn't matter. As long as you get her down. Okay. I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff. Now, I'm taking a look at this again. Looking pretty good. Put our fish on here. You see how it's coming along? Now we can start really thinning this down from the back side. Careful toward the tail because that tail is a little bit fragile. In fact, what I'll do here is uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a piece of wire up in this tail. What that'll do is that'll make that just a little bit more rigid. Just put a wire up in there, and that way, if you put a little pressure on there, it may not break. But you see, we're, we're going to go ahead and start. Going to the back here, and I'm starting to smooth the back down now. Now you learn how to do this. You can build about any form you want: bird form, goose form. Sometimes, especially if you're just starting out and you're hard up for money, you can go find a piece of foam. I've made everything from partridge pheasant, everything. this down right now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have to start thinking about getting our calipers out and doing some measuring here. But what we'll do is we'll get everything pretty close first. Okay. 
Okay. That's nice, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, this is what we got. Okay. We're looking at it. We got our belly here. Got our tail. Nope. I'm oh, sorry. You see how close we're getting there now? Not bad, huh? Now what we're going to do, I'm going to make a little mark here. Well, we'll get her. That's where our tail is going to go up. Where the butt is. To start showing that heavy belly. The fin. There's a fin right here. Okay, I'm going to get my calipers and that out now. We need an inch and a half from the top to the bottom of this tail. So I'm going to measure, I'm going to go to two inches right away. And we're pretty close. So I took some off the bottom. I'm going to take some off the top. That'll give us just about two inches. I'm going to do a little bit more here. little bit more on the top. Now you see how this is here? Look at that tail, how it's coming around there. You see that? The tail is fitting pretty nice. We got, it says one and a half inches. We're pretty close. So, What we're doing now is we're taking a look at this, see where we got to be. Looks pretty darn good. Anyway, we're going to work, keep the bottom line. We got our bottom line here. Okay. Okay. Got the bottom and the top. I mean, we're really close. What we're going to do is we're going to bring this top around. We're going to go ahead and cut this off with a knife. That'll make it slightly easier to do. What we want is we want a nice... See the bend we got in this? I mean, that's a pretty darn nice bend. Anyway, let's see what we got here. We got our tail. Then we got to decide. We got two inches here. We got to go for our thickness here. So we're not quite there yet. We're gonna we're gonna thin this down at an angle here. We'll get kind of roughed out here. We've got our calipers here. A little bit more. Now you see the difference in this right here? We're thinning it out. We're getting her down there where it's getting close to two inches. That was our measurement there. Right there at the tail is two inches. Two inches thick right here. And we're pretty darn close. Okay. Now we're two inches. We're going to leave it right there. We're going to round this a little bit here. We're going to round this. We want to thin this down here, the tail down. We're going to bring that down, down to a point.
Okay, now we're going to go up here in this area here where it says two inches thick, right up in here. So we're going to go two inches. We went to two inches here. Now we're going to two and three quarter up in this area right here. Let me get this thing out. Two and three quarter. Now that's going to be from the rest of this area here. We're, we're down to two inches here. We're going to go to two and three quarter up in this area. And we're, we, we don't have a lot, lot further to go. Because we, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and rasp that around there. See what our two and three quarters does here. We're, we're not quite two and three quarters yet, but see how our farm is taking shape here. I mean, we're doing a good job on this. We got our farm looking fairly good. We're going to go and do some work here on the front now, just because we're we're so close that we want to uh, make sure that we get this part as smooth as we can. This this front part. And uh, okay, we're gonna check this out. Two and three quarters. We're up, we're good up toward the front here, but we're gonna keep working on this right here. It's not as critical as to be as smooth on the back side, but. We're gonna we're gonna make a nice form, so bit wide here. We've got our two inches there, but this here is just... There we go. Now you see that? We've we're, we're still got a lot to do here. Really whittling on it now. I mean, I got a good rhythm going. You can knock out one of these in a half an hour. Whereas if you buy this for them, it's probably going to be 15 bucks. So I use a couple pennies of material and half an hour of time, and I've got a form that's ready to use almost. So this is how you save money sometimes in your shop. Some people say it's not worth it, but I, do. I think it is. Anyway, this is our fish right here. Here's our form right here. We're so darn close that it's just almost pathetic. Look at this here. Look at this fish. I mean, we're, we're close. We got a little bit more to do top to bottom. But that's no biggie. We can do that. Yeah, man, that's the name of the game. This is what we got here on the top now. If we put that right there, we are so god dang close that this here is uh, almost ridiculously close. I mean, it is just, I'm just taking it a little bit more, and then all I have to do is round this. Okay. Look at that. That's beautiful. I mean, we, we are doing top-notch work here. You get the tail on there. We got the fin here. We're coming up here. We might have to just take and... Let's see what we got. 
want it to thin her out a little bit more. I, mean, I know it, it looks like a mess, and it probably would put some people off, but what the heck, I'm not, we're not afraid of this stuff. That will work, are we? Getting this thing spin down a little bit. Okay. We're going to start getting our final, everything final here. You see this right here? We're pretty close to the actual size of the fish. I mean, this, this is close right here. We got to, well, I got to cut this out right here. I'm going to take and I, I, and you got to be careful here because you don't want to you don't want to break this at this point. Yeah, and this is the way it goes. Take it out a little bit at a time. You see how we got that going there? Form. I mean, we're pretty close right there. You see that? We've made that form in less than a half an hour. We're doing good. We got it the way we want it. Everything is closed within specs almost. Now, what you got to do is you got to thin out this front as it, where it goes into the head. Leave her your width at the gills. We've made that the right width. What we're doing now is we're just thinning this out to fit up into the head. Same thing on the bottom, in the throat latch area. There you go. Voila, the fish farm. Let's see what we got here. We'll make our final adjustments on it when we get the fish skin out. We'll probably mount this up tomorrow, and we'll see how it fits up, okay? But that's how you do your fish farm. It seems like a pain in the butt, but it's really not. I'm going to get my vacuum out and clean up. Tomorrow we'll mount that fish up.